everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the LA Girls Pro Face HD Matte Press Powder. This is what it looks like. This is the box that it comes in, packaging with the words on the back. And then when you open it, if I can get it open, this is what the packaging of the powder looks like. So it is kind of bulky, like it's really thick and you really don't get all this product. And then this is the back. You open it in front to get the powder and then underneath is a mirror and a, comp and a um, powder sponge, a sponge thing. So I really like how it has the open face so you could actually see the color. Like even from the packaging you could actually see the color that you're getting. I got this for $38 at Wonderful World so that's 38 TT for anybody who's not from Trinidad and on the website it's 8 US so I think that's a very good price point for the powder um, it's not a high-end powder so $38 in my opinion is great so for that $38 you're getting 7 grams of product of 0.25 ounces which compared to the Makeup Forever HD is 10 grams but this is this is 34 US as compared to 38 TT so I mean there is a difference in uh, there is a big difference in in price points but I mean honestly who really cares right it's 38 dollars who really cares about that three grams you can get how many I don't even let me see how much you can get you can get way more than one of this powder for that price to make up for the three grams if it's a problem so I got my powder in the shade chestnut. I do a lot of research before I buy things because I don't really want to spend my money for a product that I'm not going to be able to use. So I was looking up on YouTube and even like googling um, reviews on this specific color because it doesn't really matter to me if the powder works or whatever. If the color doesn't look good on me, then it, that oil well, that's not going to matter. So hey, what's going on? Yeah, so I was looking for reviews on this specific color and I didn't really see any. So that's why I went ahead to get this color and that's why I'm doing this review for anybody else who might have seen this powder and wanted to know if chestnut works for them. So what this powder claims to do, I'm just reading off the back, it says long lasting oil controlling powder, mattifying finish for radiant look, helps cover blemishes and imperfections, paraben free and fragrance free. And then you have the mirror and the sponge included, which I showed you guys. When you when you rub the powder with your finger, it really it feels nice and smooth. And then I don't know if you could tell this is the color here. So my middle finger is the Elegio powder. Now I'm gonna just compare it to the Makeup Forever because I love this powder. So this is how the two of them look side by side. Um, I feel like if the Makeup Forever one is a bit more red tone, like a bit warmer, I don't know. That's just the feeling that I'm getting from it right now. But the makeup, I love how the makeup forever looks on my skin. Like, I love this powder. I, look at it. It's sitting fan. I love this powder. And I'm going to need to get another one. And this one is so smooth and so soft. Oh my gosh. So that's how the two of them look side by side on my finger, right? So this is the Ellie Grail and this is the makeup forever one. You can't really tell a finger swatch because I mean it's powder, it's supposed to look like your skin so how are you going to really see it? But they both do blend in well on my skin tone. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you the powder on my face. I'm going to put one side using the, the sponge that they give and then the other side I'm going to use my brush. Oh, so first off I have on my foundation and everything, I put on a little under eye concealer and I set that already with my Sasha Busca powder. Um, I use the Revlon Colorstay um, foundation as well as the Becca um, primer. So the Revlon did give me some light coverage but I still have some um, dark spots, a few dark spots still peeking through. And this does claim to cover blemishes so we'll see how that works out. So this powder is giving coverage and I'm really appreciative of that. However, I find applying powder with those powder puffs things just take too long. So I'm just going to go ahead and use my Real Technique sponge um, brush and swirl it around and apply that to my face. So 
so that's how the powder applies I've worn it before and I really do like how it looks on my skin like when I take pictures or whatever it doesn't look ashy like the powder the color of the powder really works with my skin tone I had a little oiliness going on before and as I covered it up with the powder it became matte so from my experience so far with this powder from the times that I've worn it I don't think I got too oily with the powder so what I want to do is I'm gonna leave this on for a few hours for the day right now it's 11 47 a.m. so it is kind of hot and I live in Trinidad so this is like the literal true test of time hey guys so it's now 4 52 p.m. which means it's been just about just a little over five hours since I've had only powder I went to the mall um, I drove in AC because it was hot um, I went to the mall which was AC um, but like today has been like my worst sinus day ever I was sneezing and sweating like my nose on um, upper lip sweat game was on a thousand today so I don't know if, you, if the camera is picking it up but the foundation and powder in this area has is probably completely gone um, but as for the rest of my face, I honestly don't think it looks bad. Like there is some sheen to it, but it really like I don't mind this. Like I feel like if the camera is giving me some forehead sheen. But honestly, like looking in the mirror, like I don't mind how. Look at this highlight though. Whoa! Looking in the mirror, I don't mind how it looks. Like. I could go on like this for another hour or two. Like I really don't mind. So with respect to Ellie Girl claiming that this powder keeps your makeup matte, like honestly, I think it works. It works well because I'm not an oily mess right now and I appreciate the kind of dewiness that my skin is giving off right now. So I really don't mind it. And it's been almost, it's been a little over five hours, which is good enough. And I was kind of sweating. If you guys do want to try out this powder, I would say you could go ahead and try it out. I mean, it's only $38. It's really not going to take that much out of your pocket. If I could pay for it, you could pay for it. Okay, I take that back. Some people might be in a bit more of a struggle. But I mean, if you really like makeup and you want to try it out, it is a cheaper alternative to all these other expensive powders that are on the market. So I think you could go ahead and try this one out. I don't think you'll be wasting your money. And if you are brown skin like me, uh, my foundation color is in the Revlon Colorstay Cappuccino, the Maybelline 355 Coconut. Um, the Makeup Forever Powder I have is in the chocolate color. So if you are my skin tone, you could go ahead and try this chestnut color out. I think it will work well for you because I think it works well for me. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. I hope you found this review helpful. Um, stay tuned for my other videos, which I don't know which one is next. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.